Welcome back to World Drum Club for your second conga lesson. If you haven't watched your first conga lesson, go watch that video. Uh, I have lots of videos here on the World Drum Club channel, but there's one specifically called my first conga lesson. Or is it your first conga lesson? Uh, so what we're going to do is build on what we learned in the last lesson, which was how to sit at the drum, how to hold the drum, how to play the three basic tones. So in this lesson, I'm going to be showing you another technique that I call the hand fingers technique. You might hear other teachers call it heel toe. You sometimes see that written heel toe, uh, hand fingers, uh, heel palm, palm fingers, palm toe, you know, people use those words interchangeably. What is it? All right, it's this. This idea. We use it in rhythms like the marcha pattern. We use it in 4-4 four, four rhythms, 6-8 rhythms. We use it in uh, ornamentation or soloing. So it's something that works on the basic level for playing standard rhythm patterns, especially those that we would categorize in the salsa category. Uh, and it also works for soloing or playing in different meters, playing different figures. So let's learn how to do the hand fingers sound. And this is a two part technique, similar, but a little bit different in each part. So what we're gonna do for the first part, we're gonna just let our hand fall to the head like a bass tone. So you can kind of think of this as a bass tone. Same technique, but closed, right? So we're not, we're not bouncing. It's a closed bass. All right, that's first part. The second part is to raise your palm or fingers. I'm going to call this the fingers part. So this was the hand part, right? Your entire hand. Second part is raise the fingers, but keep the wrist pretty much down, then go again. So that's our fingers part. So hand, fingers, hand, fingers. If we start going faster, yes, you may see me or other players do this. We're kind of off the drum a little bit, but for now, if you're just starting this technique, stay on the drum, stay down low, stay down here. And notice I'm doing this primarily with my left hand, my non dominant hand, because that's where it happens most of the time. So if we're doing marcha, and we'll learn this in another video. I have other videos on the marcha pattern, but I want you to see how much it's happening over here. Okay, so you get the idea. Really useful technique and an important technique. And why is it important? Well, we don't want to go out and start sounding like... Because where's the time? Where's the feel? So to get the groove, you know, be in the pocket, and when, especially when you're accompanying somebody, like maybe you're playing in a band with a drummer and you can get away with just playing slaps and open tones. But if you're playing with your friends, uh, if you're playing with a guitar player, for example, accompanying them, you want to lay down the groove. So you don't want to have a lot of that stuff missing. You want to have all the notes there. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, so all the notes are important, so that's why we practice that. Get it uh, consistent, and then when you're ready, you can start incorporating the other hand, teach your other hand how to do that. I would focus on your non-dominant hand. If you're right-handed, that's your left hand. Focus on that mainly because that's where you're going to use it most of the time. But by all means, you can develop your other hand so you can do... Or maybe... And you'll see a lot of the new generation. I mean, new generation, like conga players in the last... 20 years, especially last 10 years uh, on the scene using this technique and just, you know, going crazy and playing really fast. And then that can also, the hand fingers technique can also parlay or transfer into double strokes where you're playing. All right, which is something that I don't really develop, I haven't developed that to the degree that a lot of other players have. So if that's something that you want to do, um, you know, which is, it's more like an effect. I mean, you don't need to do that to work as a conga player or to play a gig. But if it's something you want to do for yourself, go for it. Uh, that's another level and you can do that. All right. So this has been your second conga lesson. Uh, take it easy. Take it slow. Practice slow. Don't rush. Be kind to yourself. Uh, just practice hands, fingers, hand, fingers, and put on a metronome, put on some music that you like playing to. Uh, I like to play to music, but you could play to a groove, drum machine, click, whatever, and, uh, and just make some progress and feel good and get better. All right. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in a future lesson.